Tonight we're getting a more clear picture of the man wanted in this massacre. A man with a military background, a troubled past, and now the subject of an ever intensifying manhunt. Five Investigates' Karen Anderson is putting all the pieces together. She joins us right now, Karen. And Ed and Maria, these court documents shed some light on Robert Card's life before Wednesday's mass shooting. Now, the information we've learned makes it clear he knew this community well, and it's also clear there were signs of trouble before this tragedy. This is his stomping grounds. The Card family is well known in the town of Bowdoin, which is about two and a half hours north of Boston. A neighbor tells Five Investigates Robert Card's father was a rural mail carrier and had a small farm selling lumber from a lumber mill on his property. His son grew up there, taking over the estate when his father died in 2001. Documents obtained by Five Investigates show Robert Card was married in 2005, but his wife filed for divorce less than two years later. The couple had a son and had shared custody after the divorce. We also know Card has been a U.S. Army reservist since December of 2002 with a rank of Sergeant First Class, his job Petroleum Supply Specialist. ABC News reports last summer, Card was behaving erratically and threatened other soldiers during deployment at the Camp Smith Training Center in upstate New York. Law enforcement was contacted and he was taken for a medical evaluation. And just a month ago, Card allegedly threatened to attack a U.S. Army Reserve Center in Saco, Maine, which is about an hour south of his home. The police chief says they increased patrols, but didn't take further action. Now, as for the treatment that Card received, he was ordered to go to the Keller Army Community Hospital near West Point, where he stayed for two weeks. He was still able to maintain access to a high capacity rifle, a weapon police say that he used in the killing spree just a few months later. In the newsroom, Karen Anderson, Five Investigators. Karen.